praise the Lord and God bless you. And welcome to a time of worship. I tell you, I am so elated and I'm so astounded as to what God is doing. Amen. God is doing some great things in this place. And I tell you, uh, I tell you, God is just awesome. God is just awesome. We thank God today for what God is doing and how God is doing it. I tell you, I just praise God today for you, you, and you that have been viewing this broadcast every Sunday. Amen. We thank God for you. and We praise God for you. It's a blessing. It's a blessing to be able to come over these type of airways. Amen. And to proclaim the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the name of God. Welcome. Again, welcome to a time of worship. Amen. I am your host, Bishop Darrell Towns. I am the New Jersey State Bishop for the Victoria International Fellowship of Churches, where our chief apostle is none other than Bishop Larry Earl Boston of Jacksonville, Florida. So we thank God today. We thank God today for you coming, for you coming, for you logging in and joining us today. I tell you, God is good. God is good. We thank God today. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. Praise the name of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We praise God for you. Join us right now. Hallelujah. We thank God for you that have joined us today. We praise God for you that is with us today. I tell you, it's just a blessing. It's just a blessing to come over the airways. Amen. We praise God for you. Let's just go to God in prayer. Before we go any further, let's go to God in prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, God, for this day. This is the day that you have made, and we will rejoice and be glad. And we thank you, God, for this time and this hour and this moment that we can worship you and praise you and share the word with the world, oh God. God, we give you praise, and we thank you right now. Bless today. Let your anointing be so ever-present. And God, we give you praise, bless the viewers, bless the anointed ears, the ears, sides, and the heart, the hearts that to hear and receive the engrafted word of God. We give you the praise, and we give you the glory, in Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. I uh, just want to make a few announcements, praise God, a few announcements, amen. Uh, soon, we're going to be doing a series of uh, teachings and messages on ministerial protocol ministerial protocol. I'm so sick and tired of ministers not knowing what they're doing and making themselves look like a dummy. So we're going to be doing a, a series of lessons on ministerial protocol. Now, I don't know just how many uh, we're going to be doing, but we're going to be doing a few teachings on ministerial protocol. Then on Thursday night, Thursday night, hallelujah, Somebody say Thursday night. Yay. Thursday night. Amen. Every Thursday night, beginning at 9 p.m. Every Thursday night, beginning at 9 p.m. The Upper Room Prayer Hour with your host, Bishop Darrell Towns, and the moderator, our Pastor Bessie McIntyre. Amen. We will be on the telephone line. On Thursday night, the Upper Room Prayer Hour. You can dial in on Thursday night. Make sure you get a pen and some paper because I'm giving, I'm giving these announcements very quickly. So get a pen and paper and write this down. The Upper Room Prayer Hour will be on the telephone line every Thursday night from 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. That's the Upper Room Prayer Hour from 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. With your host, your bishop here, your host, and our moderator, uh, Pastor Bessie McIntyre. Now located in Plainfield, New Jersey. Originally was in Long Lawrenton, Virginia. Now she's relocated to Plainfield. Amen. So then that number to dial in, that number to dial in is 712-432-8800. 
And use the access code. Here it is, the access code. 797796. And I'm going to make that announcement later on too. That access code again is 797796. Amen. The mailing address, the mailing address. Praise God. If you want to write me, I need you to I need you to write me. I need to hear from you. I need to hear from you. I need to hear from you. Let me know the quality of the of, of the broadcast. Let me know the blood that you've been blessed by the message. Write me and let me know that you're viewing. If you don't say nothing but Bishop, I'm viewing. Amen. The mailing address to write me is Post Office Box 3121. That's Post Office Box 3121, Patterson, New Jersey. P A T E R S O N. Patterson, New Jersey, 07509. Write me. Let me know your viewing. Let me know the quality of the uh, of the stream. Amen. Just just write me and say, Bishop, I love you or something. Let me know that you that you're hearing me and that you're viewing this broadcast. Again, that's P.O. Box 3121, Patterson, New Jersey, 07509. Amen. You can also write me at my emailing address. You ready now? The emailing address. The emailing address is this. Worship. W-O-R-S-H-I-P. Worship. The number two. The number two. Him. 52. Gmail.com. That's worship. W-O-R-S-H-I-P. The number two. Him. 52. At Gmail.com. You can write me there. Okay, those two addresses are, you can hit me at my Facebook page. You can message me or post on my, on my, on my Facebook page. And that Facebook page is simply Bishop Daryl Towns, D-A-R-Y-L, T like Tom, O-W-N-E-S like Sam, Bishop Daryl Towns, uh, my Facebook page. Hit me, hit me up on my Facebook page and let me know that you're viewing. Amen. And then take a look. Then go over to my ministry page. Amen. Go over to my ministry page. Amen. Which is Worship, Word, and Praise. Evangelistic Tabernacle Church Ministries. Go over to my uh, ministry page on Facebook. And take a look at my ministry page there. Guaranteed you'll be blessed. And post, you can also post there as well. Amen. Amen. I want to thank, well, before I go there. I want to make another important announcement. I've got two more important announcements to make. The first one is this. On June the 12th, which was Friday, June the 12th, which was Friday, praise God, on June the 12th, which was Friday, First Lady Barbara Towns, Evangelist Barbara Towns, and myself, your bishop, celebrated 22 years of glorious, blissful, Happy marriage. Amen. Wasn't no sweetheart on the side. Hello, somebody. Mm. Wasn't no man on the other side. It was just me and her. Been together for 22 years. Wasn't no slipping and sliding in 22 years. Amen. We've been faithful to one another for 22 years. And I thank God that on Friday, June the 12th, he has allowed us to be together for 22 years, and I'm looking forward for 22 more, amen, glory to God, 22 more plus, so y'all keep praying for the bishop, y'all keep praying for the first lady, amen, we praise God for allowing us to see 22 years, now, uh, for our, our another big announcement, amen, June the 11th, 2015, Praise the name of God. Worship, word, and praise evangelistic tabernacle church ministries became an incorporated ministry in the state of New Jersey. We are now incorporated in New Jersey and registered in New Jersey as a, as a corporate entity, religious entity. Catch the word, religious entity. Amen. 
Amen. Even though we're not religious, we're Pentecostal holiness, but we have to say it that way for state purposes. Amen. We are now legal in the state of New Jersey. So that means if you desire to support this ministry, you can do so with your gift. Amen. And we will see to it. If you desire to have a, a, a tax write-off at the end of the year, amen, we'll, we will get that to you as well. Amen. If you desire. Now, I'm not one that writes off anything I give unto God. Who am I to tax God? Hello, somebody. Amen. So we praise God. We thank him. We are, we are excited at what God is doing, and we thank God for what God is doing. Amen. And how God is blessing worship, word, and praise, evangelistic tabernacle church ministry. Amen. So, so we praise God for that. Amen. We thank God for, for that. Amen. We praise God for worship, word, and praise, evangelistic tabernacle church ministry. Amen. When yours truly is none other than pastor, the pastor is yours truly, Bishop Daryl Towns. So we thank God for our church. Amen. And we're praying. Amen. We're praying and we're looking forward to doing some great things in the future and down the road. Amen. And I'm asking you that we're viewing this broadcast, whether you're viewing the recording of this broadcast or you're viewing it live, I'm asking you to pray with me, join with me, lock with me in prayer as I search and pray for a location to open the doors of the church. Amen. Church is now legal. Now I need a place of worship. We can go in and praise God, preach all, preach all we want to, dance and shout all we want to, amen, and give God some praise. So pray with me. Touch and agree with me as, as I search, as I go on a search, amen, for our church, amen. I will say this. No, it's not going to be located in Patterson. God didn't give me Patterson. But praise God, we thank him and praising God that wherever he plants this building, and plant this church, amen, that it will be a blessing. So go with me, amen, and pray with me as I search for our church building. Now, if you are in the local area, if you're worshiping here, you're in the local area, Patterson area, Passaic County, Burton County, Essex County, you're in the local area, amen, and you're looking for a covering. You're looking for a bishop to cover your ministry, or you're a pastor out there, or a minister out there, or a licensed minister out there that is looking for a covering. Write me. Write me at P.O. Box 3121 Patterson, New Jersey, 07509. Write me. Let me know. Email me. Hit me on Facebook. Let me know that you would like me to cover you and cover your ministry. Now, 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 this, this, uh, this ministry, worship, word, and praise, evangelistic tabernacle ministry, this ministry is a ministry to leadership. It's a ministry to pastors, ministers, churches. It's a ministry to those, to those people. We will minister to the entire body of Christ. Yes, we will. But we're, our goal and our mission is to build disciples, to make disciples of all men. And that's what Jesus told us to do. Go and make disciples of all men. So we are going, we want to build and we want to, to, to make disciples of all men. Amen. So I want you to pray with me. I want you to shout, to join with me as we begin to look for and search for our church building. Bless the name of God. Praise God. I want to also thank Amen. I want to thank, praise God, our uh, sponsor. Amen. I want to thank one of our church sponsors, our five-star photo studio. Now, get a pen and paper because I'm about to give you some information. Amen. I want to thank five-star photo studio and our elder Henry L. Johnson, the proprietor and owner of five-star photo studio that supports this ministry, amen, that supports this ministry. If you in the Burton County, Essex County, let me say it like this, you in New Jersey, New York, or Pennsylvania, write me, contact me, get in contact with me. 
Let me know that you need a photographer. Amen. I guarantee you will not be disappointed. I have seen his work. He has done some beautiful, beautiful work. Amen. So I want you to write me and let me know that you need a photographer for whatever event you're having. Excuse me, whether it's a church event, family event, funeral, wedding, whatever it is, graduation, whatever it is. Write me and let me know you need a photographer. And I will put you in contact and put you in touch with our uh, five-star photo studio. Praise God, our elder Henry L. Johnson, the property and owner of Five Star Photo Studio. Amen. Our sponsor for this ministry and this broadcast. We praise God for him. Amen. And I think I've covered all the announcements. Uh, all the announcements. I think I've covered all the announcements. Amen. You hear on this live stream, you stream live stream that every Sunday, every Sunday at 6.30 p.m., your bishop is here worshiping, praising God, and sharing the word of God. And as I happen not to be on, someone will be on, amen, sharing the word of God. Amen. Real soon, in the near future soon, we're going to bring, be putting on our, our, our first lady will be sitting next to us real soon, sharing the broadcast with very uh, important testimony related to our first lady, amen, and how God has brought her back from the dead, amen. We are in the process of writing a book concerning it, amen, but until that time comes, amen, just continue to pray for first lady, amen, pray for our grandma Barbara Towns, amen, pray for her, keep her in your prayers, amen, because God is going to do some great things in her, through her, and by her, amen. So we praise God today. Uh, praise the name of God. I tell you, I'm just elated. I'm just ecstatic. Praise the name of God about what God is doing in this ministry. Praise God. Uh, praise the name of God. I guess I've covered all the announcements for today. Don't forget every first Sunday, every first Sunday of the month. Amen. We're going to be sharing in communion. Every first Sunday of the month. Amen. We're going to be sharing in communion. Amen. Remembering and commemorating our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ's death uh, on the cross. Amen. We're going to be uh, sharing in communion. So to, pre to prepare yourself, get your bread, get your, get your grape juice. Amen. Get your unleavened bread, better known as matzah, and get prepare yourself for the first Sunday in July. Amen. As we... Uh, commune together and break bread together. Amen. Praise the name of God. I believe I've covered all the announcements at this time. Amen. And if I forgot anything, praise God, we'll cover it at the end of the broadcast. Amen. We thank and praise God for Jesus. We thank and praise God for our pastor, Cornelia Ann Jacob. Amen. The, the eminent pastor of uh, Hope Christian Church Ministries. Amen. We thank God for her. Amen. Uh, and and her, her support and love and steadfastness. Amen. We thank God for her. Continue to pray for Hope Christian Church Ministries and our pastor, Cornelia and Jacob. Amen. We thank God for them. Amen. We thank God for them. Amen. I think I've covered all of the announcements for today. Praise the name of God. I believe I've covered everything. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Let's go to the word. Well, let's go to let's go to God in prayer first. And then we're going to go to the word of God. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your word. We ask that you will speak through your word today. My God, we ask that you would let your word encourage and uplift somebody. In the name of Jesus. And Lord, we praise and give you glory. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. If you have your Bible, if you have your Bible. Turn to Psalms 91. Psalms 91. Praise the name of God. Turn to Psalm 91. Amen. Psalm 91 says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. When you are 
in the secret place. That secret place is a place where you and God, where only you and God know about. And when you in that secret place, oh bless his name, when you in that secret place, when you living in that secret place, what are you going to say of the Lord? Verse 2 says, I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge, my fortress, ah, my God, in him will I trust. Surely, surely, he shall deliver you, you from the snare of the fowler. In order to get delivered, in order to be set free, you've got to be in that secret place. You got to abide. You got to live under the shadow of the Almighty. Surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. And from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with his feather. Sounds like protection to me. When you're in the secret place, God will protect you. He'll protect you from anything that may try to come in and try to hinder you. He'll protect you from anything that will try to, to, try to mess you up and screw you up in the realm of the spirit. God will protect you. Praise the name of God. And under his wings shall... You shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield. The truth that is talking about is the word of God. For the Bible says that the word of God is like a two-edged sword. It cuts to and fro. The word of God is our shield. It's our buckler. Praise the name of God. It's our buckler. Praise God. Hallelujah. You shall... His, his truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night. What you fearing, beloved? What are you afraid of, beloved? If you have fear, you're not dwelling in the secret place. For the Bible says he has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. So if you, if you are walking in fear today, you're not dwelling in that secret place. In that place, hallelujah, in that place where Jesus has you that nobody knows about. Praise the name of God. It says, you shall not be afraid of the terror by night. Never seen so many people afraid to walk the streets at night. Heard somebody say, well, you know, Bishop, we've got to use wisdom. Yes, we do. But at the same time, we've got to know that God will protect us. And he will take care of us. Nor of the pestilence that walk in darkness. Nor of the destruction that lays a waste at noonday. Praise the name of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. Praise the name of God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Know of the pestilence that lays wait at noonday. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. It says, uh, nor the pestilence that walks in the darkness, or nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday bless his name when you are dwelling in that secret place when you are living in that secret place you have to have you should have no fear of anything that will try to come against you for you are living in the secret place praise the name of god you are dwelling you are abiding under the shadow of the almighty and when you're abiding and you're abiding under the shadow of the almighty when you're abiding and living under the shadow and you're living in the secret place. Oh, I feel the preacher right about now. When you're living in the secret place, 
The Bible says here, the next verse, it says a thousand may fall at your side and 10,000 at your right hand. Oh, but it shall not come nigh your dwelling. Beloved, let me let you know something on this evening. Don't worry about enemies coming up against you. For your enemies can't come up against you. For the Bible says there are 4,000 shall what? Fall at your side. And 10,000 at your right hand. They're going to fall left and right. Hallelujah. When the enemies try to come up against you, they're going to fall left and right. They won't be able to come up against you. They won't be able to do anything. But you got to be dwelling in the secret place. Oh, bless his name. You got to be dwelling in the secret place. When you're in that secret place, you are in the place of safety. Praise the name of the Lord. When you're in that secret place, you are in the place of safety. The next verse says, only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked. Yo, bless his name. When you're in the secret place, you only see it with your eyes. You will see the reward of your enemies. You'll behold their destruction. Praise the name of the Lord. I always say this to people every time. Up and I let people know I'm not concerned about what folks do to me. Better be careful how you handle me and what you say to me or what you say about me because I dwell in the secret place. And since I dwell in the secret place, bless his name, you better be careful what you do to me because God has his eyes on you and the Bible says he'll bring you down. Oh, bless his name. And why will your enemies come down? Why will your enemies be brought down? Why will your enemies be be, be, why will you only behold their destruction with your eyes? Look at the next verse. It says, because you have made the Lord who is your refuge, even the most high, your dwelling place. When you dwell in that place, when you in that secret place, when you in that place where God has you, when you in that place where nobody knows about but you and God, the enemies will be destroyed. Before your very eyes, oh, bless his name, be simply because you made God your refuge and you made him your dwelling place, oh, bless his name. And when you're in that, 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 that secret place, when you're in that, when you're hid under the feathers of the Lord God, bless his name, when you're under his feathers, when you're divinely protected, hallelujah, the next verse says, he, no evil shall befall you. Nothing evil can come against you when you are dwelling in that secret place. No evil can come against you. Oh, praise his name. No evil can come against you when you in that secret place. Are you dwelling in that place? Are you in that place? Oh, bless his name. Hallelujah. It says, nor shall any evil befall you. Verse 10, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. Oh, praise his name. Bless his name. When you're in that secret place, sickness can't even attach itself to you. Oh, bless his name. When you're dwelling in that secret place, the spirit of infirmity can't come anywhere near you. Oh, unless you allow it to. Hmm. And why can't it come near you? The very next verse says, For he shall give his angels charge over you, lest you, and lift you up, bear you up, close push you up, hold you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. And in their hands shall they bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. Oh, praise his name. You shall tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent, you shall trample underfoot because, why? Because he has set his love upon you. 
Therefore, I will answer him. Because you know God and because you have dwelling in that secret place, the Bible says that he set his love upon you and he will deliver you. When you are dwelling in the secret place, when you are living in that secret place, and when you're abiding under the shadow, that shadow is the anointing of the living God. For the Bible declares in the book of Isaiah that the anointing destroys every yoke. So when you're dwelling and living under the anointing of God, the Bible says he has set his love upon you. And he said, therefore, he will answer. I want you to know that God will answer every prayer as long as you're in the secret place. As long as you're in the place where God needs you to be, God will answer every prayer that you have. All you need to do is dwell in the secret place. Dwell in that place where God has for you. And if you dwell in that place, God uh, will, uh, will protect you. Uh, God will not allow anything to come up against you. Uh, no, he won't. Uh, all you need to do uh, is just dwell in the secret place. Uh, dwell in that place. Uh, put in that place that nobody knows about. Uh, all you got to do is get in God uh, and let God get in you. Uh, oh, my God, from Zion. Uh, Dwell in the secret place. Um, then you can say like, like you can say like David said. Uh, and Psalms 23, uh, the Lord is my shepherd. Uh, I shall not want. Uh, hallelujah. Though I walk through the shadows of, of death. Uh, I will fear no evil. Uh, when you are dwelling in the secret place, uh, you can walk through the valleys. Uh, and you can walk through the lower parts of the streams. Uh, you can walk through trials and tribulations. You can walk through anything that's not of God because you're dwelling in that secret place. I want you to know today God has a secret place for you. And all you have to do is dwell in that secret place. Thank you, Jesus. It says, because he has set his love upon me. Therefore, I will deliver him. I will set him on high because he has known my name. When you know the name of Jesus, you will be set on high. What's that name? When you know the name of Jehovah Jireh, the God that will provide. What's that name? The name of Jesus. What's that name? Jehovah sick canoe. Huh? What's that name? Huh? Oh, the name, the great I am, that I am, huh? the one that will deliver, the one that will bring you out. Huh? I'm talking about the name of Jesus. Huh? At that name, huh? every knee shall bow huh? and every tongue will confess. Huh? At that name, the name of Jesus. At that name, the name of Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Can somebody say Jesus? Oh, Jesus. The mountain mover. Jesus. The burden bearer. Jesus. Hallelujah. The lawyer in the courtroom. Jesus, uh, the sergeant uh, in the operating room. Uh, Jesus, uh, the slily of the valley. Uh, Jesus, uh, the bright and morning star. I'm talking about Jesus. Uh, do you know the name? Uh, do you know the name uh, of the Lord Jesus? Uh, he says, uh, he will call upon me because he has known my name. Uh, he shall call upon me, and I will answer him. When you know the name, all you got to do is call on the name of Jesus. 
He shall call upon the name, and I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. And with long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. At the name of Jesus, at the name of Jesus, when you're dwelling in that secret place, when you're dwelling in that secret place, and you know the name of Jesus, he will protect you. When you're dwelling in that secret place, he will cover you with his anointing. When you're dwelling in that secret place, he will take care of you. And all you have to do is just abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Just abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge. He is my fortress. In God, I will trust. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High can abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Ah, ah will you abide me? Are you dwelling in that secret place today? Are you in that place today? Are you where the Lord would have you to be? Are you in that place where nobody knows of but you and God? Nobody but you and God. Are you in that secret place? If you're not dwelling in the secret place today, if you're not abiding under the shadow today, I want you to, I want to invite you to get to know this Jesus I just preached about. If you don't know Jesus, if you don't have a personal, interpersonal relationship with Jesus Christ, praise the name of God. I want to invite you right now. I want to invite you right now to accept Jesus as your personal Savior. Well, Bishop, how do I do that? How, how do I ask him into my life? What do I do? Well, the Bible says, if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus Christ and believe in your heart that he's been raised from the dead, thou shalt be saved. The Bible lets us know in the book of Acts, call on the Lord and he will save. So I want to, to uh, praise the Lord. I want to invite you to pray this prayer with me. Father, in the name of Jesus, I confess my sins to you. I am a sinner. Forgive me of my sins. Cleanse me and purify me. I accept your son Jesus as my personal Savior. Come into my life, Jesus. Make me a new creature. And I thank you, Lord, for making me that new creature. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, if you prayed that prayer and you've never accepted Christ in your life, and it's the first time that you have prayed that prayer or a prayer like that, I want you to write me at P.O. Box 3121, Patterson, New Jersey, 07509. Write me. Let me know that you have accepted Christ as your personal Savior. I want to get some pertinent information, some very important information into your hands to help you grow in the Lord. Amen? Amen? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So we thank God for you hearing us today. We praise God for you being with us today. Amen. So write me, let me know that you're willing, let me know that the message was a blessing to you. Are you dwelling in that secret place? Are you dwelling in that secret place? Hallelujah. Are you dwelling in the place where the Lord is? That place that nobody knows about but you and God. Now you that have prayed that prayer. The Bible says if you will that all things have passed away. And behold, all things become new. Now if you prayed that prayer for the first time. I want you to go tell somebody. If you confess it with your mouth and you believe it in your heart 
and Christ has been raised from the dead. Now you need to go tell somebody, I am a new creature. I accept the Christ as my personal Savior as I view the time of first coming. Amen. Go run and tell somebody. And don't forget, meet us here every Sunday evening at 6.30. Meet the New Jersey State Bishop, Bishop Darrell Towns, for a time of worship right here on Ustream every Sunday at 6.30. Meet us right here. Praise the name of God every Sunday evening. Now listen, 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 listen. Don't forget to write me at P.O. Box 3121, Patterson, New Jersey, 07509. Amen. Write me at there and worship to hymn 52. Worship the number 2, hymn 52, at gmail.com. Write me at there as well. Meet me on the telephone line on Thursday night at 9 p.m. Praise the God. Amen. Meet me, on, meet me on the telephone line at 9 p.m. Praise God. And I think I've given you that uh, information in the beginning of the broadcast. And I stuck it somewhere here in my Bible. Praise the name of God. Amen. There, there we go. Amen. You can, you can dial in at 712-432-8399 on Thursday night from 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. Use access code 797796. Amen. It's access code 797796. Again, I want to thank God, amen, for allowing First Lady Evangelist Barbara Towns and myself to celebrate 22 years of marriage on June the 12th, 2015. And again, we praise God for allowing us to incorporate worship, word, and praise, Evangelist and Tabernacle Church Ministries. Praise God here in the state of New Jersey as a corporate religious entity here in the state of New Jersey. We are now incorporated and registered here in New Jersey. And we thank and praise God for that. We thank and praise God for Five Star Photo Studio, our sponsor, amen, of our church and our ministry, amen, as well as our internet ministry. So we praise God for you. Amen. Join us here next Sunday as we come and worship God here, right here, on a time of worship. God bless you. May the Lord smile upon you. May heaven's blessing pour upon you is our prayer. Amen, somebody. We thank and praise God. Join us here every Sunday, 6.30. Amen. God bless you. Goodbye for now. May the blessings of God go before you. May it shower down around you. Remember, the bishop loves you. First lady loves you. Amen. We thank God for you. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord cause his face to smile upon you and be gracious unto you and give you shalom, even peace. Now, henceforth, and forevermore, in Jesus' name. Just one, one more announcement before we leave. Amen. If you're viewing this broadcast in the Pennsylvania area, in the Stroudsburg area, praise God, I want you to visit, stop by. If you don't have a church home, stop by. House of Prayer of the Living God, located at 335 McCall Avenue, Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania, right off of 209. Amen. Right off of 209, right across from the Indian Museum. You that live in that area, you know where it is. Right across from the Indian Museum. The pastor is none other than our own prophetess, Carol Fernandez. Service begins every Sunday at 12 noon. Join her for her morning service. I guarantee you will not be disappointed. You will not be disappointed. Amen. Join us. Join her every Sunday. If you're in the Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania area, and you're looking for a church home, and you're in the Pocono area, come on down from the mountain, out of Mount Pocono, wherever you are, down to Stroudsburg, East, East Stroudsburg, right across from the Indian Museum, 335 McCall <laughs> Avenue. House of Prayer of the Living God, Pastor Carol Fernandez, Pastor. It's every Sunday, 12 noon. God bless you. We love you. Amen. Meet us here on new stream, a time of worship, next Sunday, 6.30. God bless you. We love you, and may heaven smile upon you. Hey, stop.